Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at iframes. So with iframes, let's say that you had a page like this index.html page that we've been working on, and we've got all the content from that index.html file, but we'd like to display the content from another file inside of this index.html file. So we want like a, a document inside of a document. Well, what you can do is add an iframe. And inside of that iframe, you can specify what that other HTML file is, or perhaps even another website that you want to display in that frame. And now you have the content from your index.html file, as well as your frame.html file. Both of them are being displayed on the page. Let's see how we can add an iframe to our index.html document that we've been working on. So for this example, we're going to start off with our index.html document. Once again, pretty empty. I don't have anything in the body tags. So we just have a pretty skeleton document here. We've got our doc type HTML, our HTML tags, head and body tags, along with a title inside of our head. Now I'm going to copy this because I actually want to make another HTML document. So I'm just going to copy this. And the idea here is that I'm going to make another HTML file and I'm going to display that other file inside of this index.html. So I'm going to go up to my Explorer icon here and right on my desktop, I'm still in the desktop that's here on you know my screen here. And I want to make a new file here. I'm just going to go ahead and call iframe.html. So I just click on this icon right here. You see it right there. That is where you can make a new file. If you wanted to make a new folder on your desktop, you'd click this one. And then this one just simply refreshes the folder structure so you can see it. And then this here actually collapses anything if you've expanded some folders out. It's kind of a real handy thing. But I just clicked on this one to make a new file and I called it iframe.html. Now in this iframe.html, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that doc type HTML head and body tags. We'll save that. And let's add a little bit of content in here so that we know that this is in fact this document, the iframe document. So I'm going to say a paragraph here and we'll say uh, this is the iframe uh, content. Okay. And we'll save this. Great. Now, how do we get this iframe.html document inside of the index.html? Well, it turns out it's pretty simple to do. We just simply use the iframe tag. So we're going to use iframe. And what we do is we have to set the source, which is the src attribute. And we just simply point it to the file that we want to put in a frame on our page. So that's going to be the iframe.html file. Now we could just go ahead and close that. So we just add the closing iframe tag and that's inside of our body. And just to make things look a little bit more apparent, I'm going to add a div element here that I'm just going to put some extra text here so we can say, you know, this is index.html content. That way we can just kind of tell the difference between the two. We'll save this and let's go take a look at this on our browser. I'm going to hit refresh. We can see this is index.html content and this is iframe content. Now you aren't limited to just these HTML documents on your own website. In fact, you could point the source to just about anything as long as it exists out on the inter internet. So I can say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash google.com and save that. And let's do a refresh and okay. This content can't be shown in a frame. Hmm. Well, that's kind of to be expected because Google's pretty popular. Let's try a different one. So instead of Google, let's try, oh, I don't know, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Oop, let's try this. Uh, www.red.com. Okay. They're a manufacturer of cameras. So we'll do a refresh on that and it's okay. It's in there. We don't really like how much space is in here. There's kind of a default size that's going on here. And I think it's time that we fix that. So on the iframe, we're going to change the width and height dimensions. To do that, we're just going to say, I want to set the height to, let's go ahead and go 600. 
That's going to be 600 pixels. And we'll say the width is 800 pixels. Fully save that and refresh. That looks a little bit better. That looks more like a website or content inside of my page. So we can actually have our own content and then have inside of an iframe some other page. That page could be an existing page on my site or it could be someone else's page, in fact. Now let's say that you wanted to offer up an option for the user to select which page they want to display in the iframe. Well, luckily that's actually fairly easy to do. What you have to do is give your iframe a name. So we're gonna go here and say a name attribute and we'll just go ahead and set this to, uh, we'll say iframe and underscore one. So that's the name of this iframe. And then above it here, instead of saying this is index.html content, let's go ahead and say that this is an anchor tag with the href pointing to http colon forward slash forward slash www.red.com. And we can say red.com as just some text for the user to click on and close that anchor tag. Now, what we need to do is we can set what's called the target attribute of this anchor tag to this iframe. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna say, add the attribute of target, and we're gonna to assign to target the name iframe one. So the name of the target is the name of the iframe. So we'll say target is, there we go, iframe one, and we could use red. Now let's just go ahead and change this back to uh, iframe.html and then we'll add, let's add another link. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to say, let's put this inside of a div. So we got one anchor tag inside of that div and then we'll just copy this and we'll do another one that's going to point to my local iframe.html. So we'll say iframe.html and this is gonna be just iframe. That way we have some text here that the user can click on to pick which one of those two documents they want to display inside of the iframe. We'll go ahead and save this. Once again, go back to our browser and refresh. Okay, the width and height stay the same. This is the iframe content displays inside here. If I click on red.com, that will change me over to the red website. Then if I wanna do switch over to the iframe page, then there's my iframe page. So it's just that easy. We can add whichever, we can add multiple different HTML documents and just simply say, I want to display this particular document inside of this named iframe. And we could do that for all of the pages that we have on our, on our website if we wanted to. And that may not be the best route to go. There's a lot of other options, especially when you start dealing with things called single page applications and work with JavaScript and stuff. But this is one nifty little way that you could have multiple pages that are actually available from one single page. So there you go, that's iframes. Special thanks to these members who have decided to become members of the channel. Thank you. If you're interested in becoming a fellow member, all you have to do is click on the join button on either the channel or underneath any one of my videos. If you don't see the join button, then unfortunately that means that it is simply not available in your country. But thank you for thinking of me anyway. Yeah.